All right, hey guys, this is Terry Burke here. We're starting Kona. This is what I was talking about when I was playing Batman Arkham Knight. I think it was. All right, uh, I'll just go over the um uh settings. There we go. Um, yeah. Play my game. <laughs> that was my mom's sister, the retired one. Carl Fulbert sought information for us. Okay. Quebec. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, I need 40? after having served yeah, with I think the that's forces, said. he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. They had set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all yeah. over it. When the roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. Alright. So, um... We need I to... I never mentioned a road-blocking barrier. Yeah, I get Why that off. Why needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Okay. Um oh, that's got enough Hamilton, date. no doubt knew who managed the barrier. Carl wanted to give him a call, but that would have been too easy though, as sure enough the line was acting up. Cause those uh used to be yellow. Come on. Close. Yeah, those those used to be uh, oh oh empty bottle oh. Um, can I not? Okay. So up here we have. Uh, you see that chest? Yeah, we got a uh, fire starter, two fire starters, and what we need to open um, uh, it's like a, yeah, the bridge. 
All right, so I'm gonna. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, yep. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. All right, there, there we go. It just sways on open. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those oh, I can see my gas is empty. empty. About scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. So um, I'm just going to feather these it. Circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, to the, the target would become the man himself. Wow. Okay. I forgot about that. We're out? Yeah, a few hours later. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. Okay. So there's a couple things we need to get? Yeah. Kona. Alright. So, we need to... Fix the tires. Alright. It was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Oh, we need log right. Oh, we need even better than he had. There we go. Carl Fobert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. So, keep, um, uh, how many logs with you? Let's see. Um, uh, I think that's quite enough. Do I have five? All right. 
Uh, okay. Is it meaning to go up there? Or, um, Carl, like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. See, that wasn't it. Um. The rep was his own personal breathing assistant. Complaining was see what not in Carl's here. nature. It would take more than light injuries to interrupt his investigation. Nothing. Hmm. Then where is the... It's in the boat? No. Uh, best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. It was a small locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. Photograph. Such heart-wrenching Nordic poetry that was. But Carl didn't care much about flowery language. All right. Come on. Close it. Thank you. Close that too. Okay. Oh, in the trunk? Oh. There we go. All right. Okay. So let's go back. required to open this. Okay. Okay. So now we can go back to our truck and push forward. So when the screen went to widescreen, I wasn't reversing. I just started pushing L2, then the game took over. I gotta slow down, because, right, we don't have any gas. 
Alright, uh, the gas station is close. Spread out on a few acres of untouched oh, forest. Oh, no, turn that off. Yellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. Watch out for the head tree. <laughs> the general store was close by. <laughs> yeah, brakes on the this uh, is oh. Yeah, that's a thing. There now we go. It wasn't a good time to wander about. Hamilton was still out there. general store okay so I'm gonna there's a trophy for playing the whole game without using your truck so I'm gonna a milkman had to drive by every do week so. to fill the bottles the fresh milk indicated a recent visit it might be probably a pain in the ass Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer he had been killed there was no need to be a detective to figure that uh, out. Maybe not. But Ma only a detective could have noticed no, that the I'll, killer I'll had to have been I very beat close. The game. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Yeah. So I'm gonna... Uh, come on. Pick that up. Thank you. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to I be did. the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Okay. I gotta turn that off. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Oh, that, 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 that works. Um, where's the thing? Okay, here. Uh, yeah, here we go. I got the flashlight. Uh, weed. More weed. There, grab that. Uh, have a look According at to that, law, that. It seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. There Carl we go. Was far more interested oh. in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Okay, um... Uh... Ten and sale? Right, doesn't... yep. That needs power? Really? Alright. What is... Oh, we already... Oh, no, we didn't. Did we? Hmm. Okay. Um... Generators foot. Oh. There. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity <coughs> at the same time. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something okay. from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Hate was in the air. Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Hmm. Yep. 
We need those. Alright, um... And where's the thing? Yeah. Um, Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. We need to um, make the yeah. You see it right here. Um, the car lift to get the crowbar. Crowbar is used for something. I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay, and turn it on. Uh, actually. Wait, there. Then that's on. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, if I look this way, there's little on and off switches. The crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Oh, it it's a weapon. Handy at some point. I see. Yeah, to take out that light. Oh. Damn. Okay. Uh, I saw. Oh. Okay. Now we gotta turn on this uh, store that closes automatically. Sometimes it doesn't. Just tell it to. For I thought I turned you off. Okay. Maybe I'll. Yeah, I was hitting it too much and. Yeah. Need that. Hmm. That can stay. Oh, I thought. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, uh, do, um, like five, ten, so that's like fifteen. Sale? Yeah, there you go. There, and close. And there. Okay. Carl used yeah, straight away yeah, would find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. <laughs> Alright. So here's the map. Uh we are oh. Uh how do we how do we zoom how do I zoom? We're going in reverse. Can I not res Zoom into the map. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. Okay, um, do I turn here? No. 
Oh. I could have. No, let's go this way. So some doc's house. What's in the mailbox? Always check the mailboxes. A key. See? Oh, key to the put. Ah. In spite of Doctor Bopre's goodwill, the place Bopre. didn't look much okay. like a physician's office. It could mm. easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. There should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. The good doctor, flanked by his beautiful spouse. Oh, is that what I heard? Happiness, yeah. captured on cardstock. Carl no, come on. This woman's soulful eyes. Was it Dr. Beaupre who had hit him head on at the village border? Doctors used light reflecting frontal mirrors to look inside the patient's cavities. That was a bit unsettling. But back then, it was pretty much always the case with medicine. Dr. Beaupre had done his medical studies quite far from here. He was surely one of the first students out of the new campus to settle on the mountainside. A communist manifesto. Only a few years ago, this type of allegiance meant oh. prison time. Is and even at present, the Western third world medic? was very wary of the Our Soviet threat. Medic? No. Why would the doctor own such a book? What is it called? First aid. Yeah. First kit. First aid kit. Yep. Yeah, I heard of those. Carl got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of what a, my nightmare is height or Within these no walls, height weight why felt more like I, I thought like this that's heart. my nightmare but I do quite good because I have perfect eyes so like if I'm standing here I can uh so let's see uh, it's like this far, right? So it's T O two. It looks like a two, but it's n not Z. Yeah, T O two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, twenty seventy, twenty twenty. Yeah. Um, but in like real life, I can read, um, let's see, um, I think it would be nine, at, at least eight, maybe nine in real life. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Water bottle? Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Um, attach, oh. Uh, for that, it says, um, 
we need a magnet for the one eye so that's or for other vision problems, somewhere the eye patch was the way to go it's not in here wouldn't be in here somebody else's house um, should I start a fire <laughs> in here would I be back in here no because I, I would only be back um, at the front to grab those two wood. I'm not grabbing them now. I could put them in the trunk, which... Tr trunk, trunk... Trunk of the tr... Oh, that works. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Great care had to be taken searching this place full of oddities. Everything was important. The decor itself told a story. Alright. So this wood. There we go. Um. I, I don't need no pliers. Oh, I need one. Um. Uh, okay. What's in here? Okay. <coughs> All right, let's have a look. Uh, okay, so we're basically going to So there's a dotted line, you can barely see it. Oh, if maybe if I focus on it. Uh, like it's going into the trees. That's like where we're facing. So that, that's good. And that, you know, point of the triangle is also where we're facing. So th this map is very helpful for people who don't understand maps. Like, because usually it's only the pointed triangle where you're facing, but with the dotted line, it helps. Just another little add-on that helps uh, people, again, don't know how to read map. Oh, I might know whose house this is. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I do. Okay, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open it from here. <laughs> yeah, this guy's. Alright. Uh, ask him about this. Oh, come on. Fill up the water. Uh, nothing much. I need to I need to close it yeah uh. Belle rose, 
qui se donne au yom sur le mercredi des sangs. Si tu crois effrayant cette histoire là. Ah, je me battais, ah, chère. la belle pétarade. En 17 que c'était. Et le gazeux, il se souvient de moi avec ma belle carabine. Et bang bang que je lui disais. Bang bang bang. Ah, le bon temps. Ok. <rire> I think it's for this. Yes. Alright. An axe. Not too shabby. Carl hmm. felt he needed to protect himself. Nice We can go back to the um um general store. Put some gas in the empty gas tank. Gas can yeah, yeah. Gas can. All right. Um. Let's check. What's here? Nothing? Okay. It's behind his house. There's wood at the back. This way. This way. You get turned around. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that last house and back to the general store, fill up that empty gas tank. No, nope. yeah, gas can and jerry can. Um, then I think I'll call it quits. All right. Um, There's Carl was this. used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this, as if an iceberg came out of the ground, that was a first. The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap <coughs> alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Rock music there invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable though. So there's that going for him. <laughs> Back then, in Africa and elsewhere, people were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. In Montreal, Over mailboxes here. were blown up, abductions were carried out, and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. 
But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. Uh, uh, turn that on man, now. by any reckoning, was from that very stock. Gun rack. <laughs> a gun rack. A gun rack? <laughs> you had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably hmm. enough to gas a man to death. The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. You gonna. No, not this one? Hmm. Looks very interesting. Oh. Today Jean Bluin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. Huh. I look through oh, not through these. Okay. Nothing. Okay, there's a ghost in here. Let's leave. Hm. All right. Um. I can't. Okay. Oh, it, I heard it close. Seen its share of oh, gravel roads. Carl R1 was never is happy, jump. But he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. Okay. Um. Oh, beer bottle. on something. Turn. If Carl had at any there point we go. to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this one. Sometimes, 
and especially around here, people are so possessive uh -oh. with their land as a dog is with hydrants. Yeah, we need to get uh, those clippers right here. Can I open the other one? No. What? It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. The milk was sorted by color. From the whitest to the greenest. Or in other words, from the freshest to the sourest. Perhaps someone I... was expecting an important call. Huh. In any case, that person's in for a long wait. Carl already noticed that telephone services weren't provided in this area. Carl had a hunch that there had got to be a plan somewhere that could help him put this thing back together. Carl had a hunch that no. there had got to be a plan somewhere that could help him put this thing back together. Hmm. Because I picked up two stuff for it. Fill up gas can. Oh, I can do it here. Oh. Okay. Headlights, that's also for the. Oh, I'm... Uh-oh. I gotta get inside. Okay. R furnace. Roswell. Atamipak. Same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Okay. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? Oh, this is to how you build it. Against nuclear waves? Huh, okay. I can't read that These to save my life. Undoubtedly the mark of a tormented mind. Hammer. Something wasn't right in the poor mechanic's head. Hmm. Okay. Um. The man seemed petrified in ice. What Carl saw terrified him, and he didn't know if it was the fear or the cold that was responsible for his hair standing on end all over his body. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to be defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. 
The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. Another pliers that I don't really need. Oh, is this a spaceship? Oh, that. The machine appeared to be missing something critical, huh. something necessary for it to take off. The shape of this machine, almost straight out of Star Trek. It's <laughs> out of the ordinary to say it, the least. It's not. It felt like this thing could fly up into space right. at any moment. The week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. Okay. Looks like a girl. I can't see and all oh, right. very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it but Carl didn't know how to reach it um yeah I don't know how to reach it either there's only a couple of ways get on the roof somehow or Yeah, I, I don't know, like, climb on this, then jump up. I, I don't know. Climb on some tires. Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. Alright. So, we're actually, uh... Since I got gas uh, back there, since that place had a gas spot and I filled up the empty jerry can I'm gonna go to the first house um, that we'll go into for part two Passing Doc's house. Passing the bridge right now. Or getting on the bridge, actually. Uh, 
so let's see let's go this way been here because we were yeah okay um I think I can save it options no okay um I'm gonna have to go in and start a fire <laughs> or do they have maybe in here a wintry atmosphere no. surrounded the house. The soundlessness of oh, the wait. area suggested what? it was it's... empty. Carl's big oh, fingers that's... prevented him from reaching the key. That's the key. What the... Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go in there and start that, um, furnace up so I can save it for part two. Actually, does this have anything? No? Okay, I thought it would. Oh, the boot, yes. When finding a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. The coals were still warm. Uh, Someone must have been stirring them up. Okay. I'm gonna get the... Wood from outside? Yeah, that's right. Right here. Come on, get over the rock. Oh. Uh, that's a bike. All right, there we go. Oh, it's saving, so I don't have to do that. I'll wait for the, the heat's going up. How about the brain, the green one? No, no, it stopped. Okay. All right. Um. All right. I think I can. Yeah, because, yeah, it's saved. I can exit to menu. So, uh, that was uh, Kona. <laughs> um, and is it the same spot? No. Hang on. Okay, that, uh, no, that's today. So I played for almost an hour? Yeah. Then this is an hour 15 or minute 15. That's 57 seconds, which no. So it's that's almost an hour. <laughs> Yeah, that's 57 minutes, then this is an hour and 15. Yeah, that's um, where I'm at. Uh, before I, I started live streaming this. 
when I actually should have. <laughs> All right, so that was Kona, um, and um, I'll do part two. I don't know. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> um, the next day depends on uh, views, cause I do it like so. I got forty, so like twenty something views. Yeah. 20 something views so um I'll see you guys in the next one and, oh when I said 40 I meant like 40 subscribers if you didn't it's just like what's 40 yeah that's what that means uh yeah no one watched alright <laughs> hockey time <laughs>